What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about my affiliate marketing best practices that I'm doing to make commissions. So first of all, let me show you quickly some of my results. I'm promoting this product. This is a high ticket product, Freedom Accelerator. This is a digital training that teaches people how to start an affiliate business from complete scratch utilizing a seven figures done for you system. And I'm promoting this high ticket product through uh, the 72 hour challenge, which is the low ticket. The price of the 72 hour challenge is nine bucks and Freedom Accelerator is $1,997. So check this out. I'm going to refresh this page so you can see that these are my actual dashboard. And basically I have sent to this company 142 referrals. I have right now 22 customers and $872 in unpaid earnings. This company pays 40% commissions and these are my affiliate links. So as you may know that we as an affiliate marketers, we can make commissions if someone buys the product through our affiliate links. And I'm going to go to the page out space page because I want to show you my latest payments. So check this out. I have been making commissions every single month by promoting this product. Now, one of the, the things or the best practices that I'm doing to make these commissions is that I'm promoting a product that I bought it for, for me. For example, check this out. This is the product that I'm promoting, Freedom Accelerator. So this was created for or by Jonathan Montoya. And he basically explains in four phases how we can basically build an affiliate business from complete scratch, then how we can increase the conversions, how we can drive customers to this system, and finally how how can we how we can automate and scale the business. So in the so you can see these are all the lessons and I went through all these steps and one of the best lessons that I learned from him is phase number two, basically how to use YouTube to generate leads from the social media channel and basically drive customers to my to my system. So by the way, if you if you want to learn the skills on how to make money with high ticket affiliate marketing, you can click the first link in the description, guys. So that being said, I'm promoting this product and basically I'm promoting a lot of a lot of supporting offers because this is my main core offer, Freedom Accelerator, but I have uh, I have supporting offers that these are high quality products that I'm using for my affiliate business. So another thing that I have in my affiliate business is that I have my own domain which um, with my own funnels and that is basically helping me to build my own personal brand. So that is my best practice number two. So check this out. I'm going to click here because I'm going to show you this funnel. So this is a sales funnel. And as you can see in the screen, so this is my so this is my domain. So I'm building my, my own personal brand. And I think that if we're going to promote something for example, I promote products that I believe that are going to help other people. It's important like putting our, ourselves out there. For example, in this capture page or opt-in page, I have put my own picture because I'm building my own personal brand. So, and I'm making commissions these ways, guys. So I think that one of the best things that we can do as affiliate marketers is to build our own personal brand. So definitely that is like my second best practice. So the third one is that it's important to know that people don't buy at the first interaction. That is why it's important to collect emails. Although some people just send traffic to their affiliate links and we can get, we can earn commissions that way. But the problem with that strategy is that Sometimes we don't know if, for example, the company is going to shut down their affiliate program or even they can shut down their product. And if we are just like putting our affiliate links out there in the description of our YouTube videos, in the, for example, 
in our bios for our Instagrams, uh, TikTok, uh, social media accounts. So, any and if we're creating content to promote that product, and if that company that we're promoting shut down their products, we are going to need to start all all, all over again. So that is why I think that one that the best practice number th uh, three that I can give you is to collect your own emails. For example, I'm using this software. The name is GetResponse. I'm using I'm using this software mainly for email marketing, but also to uh, store my contacts. So check this out. I have collected one thousand four hundred and nineteen emails. So basically what I can do here is that I can click on email marketing and I can promote any product that I want. That is why it's important to promote products that are going to help other people. So that is uh, my best practice uh, for affiliate marketers number three. Now, the fourth is to build a nurturing sequence. So what is that? So people are not going to buy at the first interaction. And mainly people need at least seven like point of contacts to buy something from you or from anybody. And that is why it's important to build an ordering sequence or, a, or an email sequence that it's, it's going to promote your main core offer and also your supporting offers or your social media. So for example, I'm using this email sequence to promote. So first of all, I give valuable information to my email list. So this works like this. So when someone subscribes to this list, Freedom Accelerator, GetResponse is going to send these two emails. Then it's going to wait for one day to send the email number two. Oh, my free training number two is going to wait another day to send the free training number three and so on and so forth. Check this out here, I'm promoting my youtube videos then i promote a supporting offer then i promote my main core offer and i'm promoting all of these products and this is one of the best things that we can do because so once we have collected the email we can promote multiple affiliate products and offers now my the next best, best practice that i'm doing is that I'm not sending emails. Um, I have emails just to give valuable information to my email list. So, it, so this this nurturing sequence or email sequence is not is not just like promo after promo after promo. In some emails, I have supporting offers, and in and inside of others, I have valuable information without any links. Because what I have seen is that. If you are just sending promo after promo after promo email, it's going to be, you're going to see that in some time people are not going to open your emails. That is why it's important to give valuable information. And my last best practice is like having this, like build your own system guys, because I'm making commissions with this strategy. For example, what I have is that I have a main core offer, which is Freedom Accelerator, and then I have a supporting offer number one, supporting offer number two, supporting offer number three, and I'm promoting multiple affiliate products, I'm promoting softwares, I'm promoting another high ticket products, high quality products that are going to know that are going to help people. So, and my bonus uh, for the best practices that we can do as affiliate marketers is to promote software. Why? So check this out. I'm promoting, um, I'm promoting ClickFunnels. So this is a software for building funnels. I'm promoting GetResponse. This ma mainly, I use soft, I uh, use GetResponse for email marketing. But also, I'm promoting this software, Funnel Freedom, because this is like having a uh, ClickFunnels and GetResponse um, combined together. So basically. One of the best things that we can do is promote softwares because for because if we want to use this tool, we need to pay recurring like a monthly fee. And if you are utilizing these tools on your affiliate business, you can promote these tools as well and have recurring commissions because 
because people are going to need to pay those tools if they want to run their affiliate marketing business. Now, there are a lot of tools that you can promote. For example, you can promote as well System Data Joe. So that is free at the beginning and it's a great choice as well. If you, if you want to build your own automated sales system, but basically guys, these are my best practices that you can implement and utilize in your affiliate business. So you can start making commissions. And if you are wondering, for example, how I'm driving traffic to my sales funnel. So let me show you quickly. Basically, my main source of traffic is YouTube. I'm creating content on my YouTube channel. So check this out. For example, I'm going to right here freedom accelerator review because i have created a review about the product that i'm promoting and check this out so i have here all these videos so these videos this video has 309 views this one has 56 views this one 387 views and that is how I'm driving traffic to my sales funnels, guys. So I'm creating content on my YouTube channel. I'm putting my link, my affiliate links, and also my links of my funnel in the description of my YouTube videos. And that is how I'm collecting leads. I'm collecting emails for my affiliate business. Some people are resonating with my own story. And they are writing their information and they go and they go inside of my sales funnel and basically all the northern sequence and email sequence that I have so get response is going to start sending emails to them and promoting my the, the products that I'm using in in my affiliate marketing business so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments if you like this video give me a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel uh, 